casket here, what's going on? Listen, if you own the Camp Chef Grill slash griddle, the FTG 600, like the one I have parked right here next to me, you know what an amazing unit this is. If you're thinking about buying one, go for it. You won't be disappointed. Now, I've had this one for about four months, and I've cooked a lot of different foods on it, and I've had a lot of fun with it. Probably went through a half a dozen propane tanks. Um, but I noticed right off the bat there's a flaw. I'm going to show you what that flaw is and a little tool you can make to correct it and you'll probably use that tool on just about every cook from there on out. So uh, first, real quick, thank you for watching my video. I invite you to look around my channel and check out some of my smoking videos and my cooking videos. I also have a few DIY videos sprinkled about in there, so check that out. Also, I'd appreciate it and would love it if you would hit the little uh, red icon down in the lower right corner of your screen there the subscribe button hit that for me So you'll get notifications when I release new videos uh, Make sure you like and comment love to hear what you're thinking love to learn things and share them with you So let's get on with it the flaw. So the other day I was cooking and well here it is now Look how small that drain hole is Yes, did you see how small that drain hole was? Well, you know that thing plugs up all the time and I have a perfect solution, a drain hole plunger. Very simple to make. A piece of muffler strapping, a number 10, two and a half inch screw, a three inch screw might even be better, but I'm using a two and a half and I'm gonna stick with that, it's been working fine. I've got some tin snips and a pair of pliers. So here's all there is to it. I'm gonna cut the muffler strapping and I'm going to retain three holes. So we'll cut that as square as we can. Grab the screw that ran away. We're going to put the screw in the center hole like that. And we're going to bring these two up together. And then you can take, take a pair of pliers and just squeeze that together like that. Make sure it's all even. Next step, snip the corners so that it's dog-eared. And there it is, that's all there is to it. If you want, you could put a little screw to hold these two together. I haven't felt the need to do it. So this is the one I just made. This is the one I've had for four months that's worked perfectly. So that's all there is to it. Check this out, we'll see how well it works. Um, also, stick around to the end of the video. I have a bonus item that I want to show you, that another must-have accessory if you have the Camp Chef Grill. So doing up these mushrooms, I've got some juices that are flowing into the grease trap. And you can see, if I move this along here, you just pick this up here and put it at an angle. Let it go. Now, by using this strapping, this kind of seals it if you want to stop the drain process. If you turn it this way, that will open it up a little bit more to allow the juices to flow. And then also, Camp Chef puts in these holes in their collapsible tables. If you're grilling where you have heavy meat particles uh, in your grease trap, you can take it right out and put it right in there like that. And then that'll completely open the grease trap, as you can see. And then once it's where you want it, you can put it back. Also adds is another feature. Uh, I've bumped this grease trap before, and it'll catch on the screw right here and kind of keep it from sliding all the way off. You pull it out, you take the grease trap off. I've bumped that grease trap on one or two occasions, and one time it slid completely off. So, bonus feature. Man, that looks like a charm. So here's another excellent accessory. You can get this at your Harbor Freight store. This is a paper towel holder. If you use a griddle, whether it's the Blackstone or the Camp Chef or the Blue Rhino, you know you go through a lot of paper towels. $11.99, and here's what you get. It's by US General, and you get an adjustable magnetic paper towel holder, and excellent, excellent 
uh, accessory. You can hang these underneath your collapsible shelves and, uh, and they're pretty strong. They won't, they'll, they won't move. They'll stay put right where they're at. So go get uh, a set of these, maybe even two sets for both shelves and you'll be good to go.